Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to talk about an alternative we have to the factory uh, trailer hitch receiver. And what you'll see here is this heavy bracket that's a simple bolt-on operation will meet the same towing specs. It's not going to reduce the specifications on what your vehicle can tow. It's a simple bolt-on operation. And then once you have this, and then of course your trailer wiring harness in place, you'll be ready to tow with your LR3 or your Sport. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, essentially how to install it, what the proper way to install this is, and how it's going to look once it's mounted on your vehicle. Alright, so before we begin, we're just going to give a quick rundown on the tools you're going to need to install this, which really isn't a whole heck of a lot. Now you'll see an impact gun. If you have access to a compressed air, that's great. If not, you can use a long-handled half-inch drive ratchet. You have a 7 8 deep socket, 3 quarter inch combination wrench, 7 8 combination, a little hard blade scraper, wire brush, straight blade screwdriver, and then this would be the most important tool you're going to have out of the bunch. This is a torque wrench, click type. You're going to need this to install because we have a specific torque that needs to be applied on these bolts to make sure that this is locked down properly. So if you don't have a torque wrench, I would suggest one, either buy one, or you can go to a lot of these automotive centers where they'll rent or sometimes even let you borrow a tool to do a specific job. So you want to keep that in mind because we are going to be talking about that when we bolt this up, what those specific torques are and how to set them up. So first thing we're going to do, and you'll well, first thing you'll notice, we've lowered the spare tire, and that's going to give us better access, better access to uh, the bolt in the back here. So we'll take a straight blade screwdriver, and you can actually even pop these off by using the side of a quarter. Just pull that down, and that comes down out of the way. And you'll see we already have the trailer harness installed. So now we're just going to be adding the hitch. This is the design that you're going to see underneath. What we're going to do is we'll grab a uh, flat scraper and a wire brush. We want to try to clean this area off as best as we can, just so that we have a nice clean surface. And you can even go one step further once you clean it off. You want to use like a rust inhibiting paint, black paint or whatnot. Give that a little shot and that'll actually keep more rust from building up on that. So. This is simply just going to lay up in place. And we're going to take that 12 millimeter bolt. We've broken the end off of the little tube of uh, Loctite. And we're just going to do a bead of Loctite all the way around the bolt. All right, so we've run a bead all the way around. It only needs to handle a couple threads. And we want it down towards the end so that as we run the nut in, it'll carry this further up in. And we'll take the big washer. Set that on there. This is just going to insert up in here and we're going to run this bolt through the back of this hole and you'll feel it drop in to your threaded hole on the back. Alright, so we insert the hitch receiver up into that hole. We've started the bolt in the back. We're going to run that in. We're going to leave it just a little loose and that's going to help us set the two big bolts up. And we're going to do the same thing on these. We're going to run a bead of thread lock around the threads and we want to make sure we got a pretty fair amount all the way around and we'll do that to both bolts and we'll insole them up in those two holes all right so we're going to put a flat washer on the bolt the bolt's been set up with thread lock you got a little time before it sets up and then we're going to insert from the back we'll put a flat washer and then the lock washer, and hold that up in place with your thumb, and then we'll start this in place. All right, so now that we got those, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna torque this back bolt to 65 foot-pounds. Once we have that locked in, then we can switch over to the two bigger bolts. These are gonna get torqued to 110 foot-pounds. Now that's a lot of torque, so you're not going to be doing this with a 3 8 ratchet on it. It's very, very important that you use that torque wrench and make sure you bring this to the specified torque. It's going to make a big difference on how this performs for you. All right, so we've torqued the back bolt to 65 foot-pounds. I've torqued the two big bolts to 110 foot-pounds. Now we're just going to wait a minute or so and then we're going to go back and we're just going to recheck them just to make sure that we are because sometimes things settle in 
and the uh, torque will lower a little bit, so we want to go back in and then recheck it, run it on the torque wrench. And then you're probably wondering what this fourth little bolt is for. You'll notice on the top of your hitch there's actually a threaded hole. And this is simply there that after you've installed your, your ball receiver, you can run this down in and lock this down against the receiver, and that'll just reduce the, the rattling that you normally get back here with any hitch. You're always going to have a little bit of movement on the receiver inside just because you have a pin here that holds it in place but don't really lock it. And this will just lock that down and reduce that rattling. So essentially that's what you've got. You'll be completely installed, be ready to tow. You put your trailer uh, wiring harness in and we'll just put the cover back on. You'll see that the receiver does clear. We got four clips on top and they just run up in those slots. I'm going to run the, we'll take the two retainers, you should see basically the slot is going to run straight up and down and that'll pop right into the, into the nuts. We'll close that down and this way, you only really need to take this off is to plug in your trailer wiring connection. And that's it, we're all set, ready to go, we'll drop it down, put our spare tire back up in place, we're ready to go. So when you're all ready to order your bolt-on trailer hitch receiver, you can contact any one of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210 or you can click on this link and do your order online. And if you like our how-to videos, I would suggest click on this link and you can subscribe to our YouTube site and watch all our videos. So for now, we thank you and Rover on.